Uh, Brianna Wu of Gamergate Notoriety, who I believe was also at that dinner with Vouch and Keffels. I'm not sure though. Um, has has been tranny has been a a tranny for like two decades now. He was one of the he's like an HSTS that trooned out like really early on, and he had a benefit that a lot of trannies don't have today, which is that before he trooned out. He um did not have a internet presence really, so all of the evidence that we have that Brianna Wu was a man and was John Walker Flint are kind of like old photos of him at college, an editorial he did, um, like his his game about um the trannies in space was actually a comic that he did in college called space cat or something um i'm not sure. revolution 60 was the name of the game i can't remember what he called his comic but it was the same characters and everything it was authored as john walker flint so we knew for years but the only sites that had evidence that brianna Wu was john walker flint and was a tranny were the kiwi farms and encyclopedia dramatica and other gamergate quote-unquote adjacent websites so they were never widely circulated or believed because you can't post that kind of stuff without it being sacrilege. So Brianna Wu basically, basically, okay. So Brianna Wu would say that he is LGBTQIAP plus because he would say that he's bisexual. He's a bisexual woman. So he still gets to be a queer marginalized minority. Um, but he also got to claim to be cis or rather he would lie by omission um that he was cis and this remained the case for years and only recently because of because of keffels thanks to keffels inviting brianna Wu to a discord group that brianna Wu presumably thought was private but is actually filled with kiwi farm snake snake rats uh we now have an omission several omissions that brianna Wu is a man and it's really funny because Brianna Wu, uh, as a result of um, being in this Discord and trying to be buddy buddy with Keffels, uh, is actually eating a lot of shit in public right now. That's right, Queen Queen Keffels takes down the big W. Uh, finally, gets the conclusive evidence that we've been waiting for. The John Walker Flint drops the twenty-year facade that he is a woman, and finally admits it. He is a tranny. Uh, very gratifying. A a great job, Keffels. This is the biggest accomplishment Keffels has ever made. Big W. Um, I can't name anything that Keffels has done that's a more serious contribution to society than getting this conclusive proof that John Walker flunks with a man. Um, so, the other thing that leaked re regarding Brianna is this. Brianna was in a Discord click or uh, a Twitter telegram, Twitter private message group. And this is called the Sissy Hippo Pub, which is a porn thing. Like it's, it's a sissy hypno thing, but it's like a pun on that. So it's kind of like the Catboy Ranch where it's like an obvious sexual grooming reference, but um, this is like a porn addiction reference. Uh, he's in there. And a tranny decides to post a picture of another tranny and says it rubs the lotion on the skin. So this is a tranny making fun of another tranny for not passing. Brianna Wu ch uh, chimes in and says, God, um, he says, I mean, if you're not super hot, maybe just dress normally and don't present yourself as a transvestite. You can go a long way with just being skinny and dressing normally. This is Brianna Wu, who's like a creepy skinwalker or Wendigo looking thing. He continues and says, in regards, uh, re Reply to Jenny Matrix, who is another tranny, says, these, spending, these people spent the last 30 years using our struggles as a sort of legitimate front to push their ideology with no regard for our struggles. And Rena Wu replies saying, look, I'm just speaking honestly here, probably too honestly, but I recognize leftist culture was always going to take us here. I said nothing about the BLM rights because I didn't want the troubles. And I said nothing when Tanky started t taking over the party because I didn't want trouble. Oh, I didn't want trouble. And then... 
And I said nothing when they took over trans stuff and said, you don't need to have dysphoria to be trans. And I'm looking where we are, and I'm just like, my silence led us here. All of ours did. We did it with great intentions, but if we don't stop the bullshit, left of them will die. I think it's because I'm old enough to remember when we moved away from transsexual, I'm a bit more nuanced. You have to remember daytime TV was obsessed with the sex and transsexual. So trying to water that down, I do think that as transgender doesn't mean anything clinically anymore. It makes sense to bring it back. This is a big no-no in the world of trannies and modern day tranny ideology this is called trans medicalism and i don't like the idea that the prefix trans no longer means trans as in to transition but trans as in faggots uh so i'm going to call this trune medicalism instead trune medicalism is the idea that transsexuality is a disorder. It is a sexual disorder called gender dysphoria in which a person has a psychological condition that makes them, as a man, feel that they were supposed to be a woman. This means that it could be a hormonal issue. It can be a chromosomal issue. It can be a sort of psychiatric distress disorder, something like that. But basically, it has to have a name. It has to have, exist in the DSM. And it has to have a treatment that socially transitioning and representing themselves as a woman is the best course of action to um, medicate this disorder. That is what true medicalism is. It's a uh, theory that transgenderism is a, is, is a disorder, basically. And while this sounds very reasonable, and you might be thinking, what, Brianna Wu making sense? That can't be. Um, the issue is, is that this is actually very unpopular now. Tran uh, this is called, actually, this is called true scum in the Tumblr terminology. So back in 2014, when the little kids were on uh, Tumblr and getting groomed into being trannies, they invented the term true scum for it. So Brian Wu is quote unquote true scum, where he is a true himself. He supports true and shit. He wants true and shit, but he believes that there should you should rule out other issues. You should rule out that maybe you're just porn addicted, maybe you're just depressed, maybe XYZ. He believes that in order to be a actual transsexual, you have to be diagnosed with a disorder that can be treated with social transitioning as opposed to just anyone saying, Hey, I'm a woman today, uh, is is lauded for it and um accepted as being an actual transgender. Uh so because for various reasons that's unpopular, um, especially with the idea and the gender ideology idea that um, gender is is a abstract concept and anybody can be anywhere on a spectrum of genders at any time and change throughout the day. With that kind of retardation, true true scum is the like actual is like very very unpopular. So when these leaked, because of course they did. Um, Brianna Wu had to come out and say, like, had to try to walk shit back. This guy viewed him two million times. Jesus. Um, so look, listen, blah, 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 whatever. I'm not an asshole. Caffles comes out and says, I've been out as trans for almost 13 years. And I guarantee most people outraged by this private account somewhere on Twitter, where they are saying words. The real proof trans women are women is how catty they are to each other. Keffels is incapable of saying anything about women that is not degrading and insulting. He can say, look, we're stupid bitches. We, we're such catty little whores. Oh my God, we're just like real women. Like everything that he has to say in regards to women is just like the most demeaning, belittling, dehumanizing, infantilizing shit imaginable. It's really disgusting, actually. But that's what he says. He tries to walk back the Brianna Wu shit. And then this is some of the replies. Let's take a, let's take a look at... Let me preload these real quick. Transmeds, GTFO. Caffles, this really isn't it. I'm sorry. And the transmedicalism, or true medicalism, it's more than just mean words. People are irked over. Rin says, Rin, who is avatar, is... um. 
uh, from that 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 anime where the little girl stabs herself through the brain with a kitchen knife dressed as Christian for whatever reason. That's very bizarre. It says, uh, no, they don't. And this says a lot about yourself, actually. Demon Fache says, this ain't it. Fache? It sounds a lot like fascism, chat. D d secret Nazi detected. Uh, Doe says, nope. Boo, boo, poop, a dupe says, you have absolutely no integrity to speak of, do you? Uh, get happy or get fucked, 97 says, I don't really have a dog in this race, but can you, at like the bare minimum, not do tongue and cheek misogyny about it? I think we all get called men enough as it is without putting women, am I right, in our infighting? <laughs> uh, I don't want to give girl twink props, but I think girl twink is on the right track here. He's not even saying don't be a disgusting misogynist. Just say, no, just don't make it so obvious, please. <laughs> You're making me look bad. <laughs> Jake, Blue Sky in bio at Actual Corn says, nah. Meek says, I've been out as a trans woman for almost as long as you, and I've never seen the behavior you're describing in the trans community. Calling a trans woman a transvestite is not being catty. Saying that Doe is mentally unwell, calling its pronouns a fetish, is not being catty. Triple Trio says, bruh. That is that is that is disrespecting Kethel's gender. He is not a bra. Thank you very much. Leftist Baby says, so you're just admitting to being a bigot on an alt then. Wonderful defense. Shirley Smith says, Brianna is cis. And this is the funniest thing about the whole thing. As I mentioned, Brianna Wu has refused to come out for like 20 fucking years and has repeatedly insisted that when people call him a tranny, that they redact that statement. There's a really funny um, post where... Uh, the Washington Post just looked at him and said, oh, that's a tranny. So it wrote, Brianna Wu is a tranny in the Washington Post. And Brianna Wu saw this and got super pissed off and asked for a redaction. And then there was like a little uh, redaction comment in the, the footer that says, uh, a prior version of this article said that Brianna Wu was transgender. Brianna Wu identifies as a woman. And it's <laughs> it's like, basically saying it's a super, it's definitely a fucking tranny. But we're just going to say, we're just going to remove that from the article. It was really, really backhanded and awesome and funny and hilarious all at the same time. But my point is, is that Brandon Will, because he can't say that he's um, a tranny, when he does do this true scum shit and talks about how actually they should get a diagnosis, it looks like a J.K. Rowling thing. To, it actually, let me rephrase that. On its face, it looks like a J.K. Rowling thing. R Rowling is like in support of trannies, I think, to a certain extent, in this way where it's like you should be diagnosed. However, obviously, Brianna Wu is not a woman. So when Shirley Smith comes out and says Brianna is cis and tries to dress up what he says as even worse than what it is, it's like a it's like a sort of I want to give this the sort of gravitas it deserves. It is the most beautifully passive aggressive thing i have literally ever said or seen shirley smith knows that brianna Wu is a troon brianna Wu knows that brianna Wu is a troon brianna Wu does not want to come out as being a troon shirley smith knows that brianna Wu doesn't want to come out as a troon and because of this brianna shirley smith therefore uses the fact that brianna Wu is in the closet against him in a way where he has two options either a eat more shit and continue not denying being a troon or b come out for the first time in 20 years and it's so awesome it's so awesome when they when these unhinged freaks eat each other like this it is so beautiful it's like remember in the, the hyenas video where you heard the classical music and the zero g it's like that you have the truons flying around shooting shots at each other being catty fucking retard faggots and it's just like damn that's some orchestrated shit that's like some that's that's beautiful right there that's the kind of shit you write about. <laughs> Kino, exactly. It's Kino. Um, B says, disagree. Sophia says, seriously. Ellis is not a Canuck, says, justice for Eden. Going to be real. I disagree very strongly with you on this. Clara. Rebel Scum 83 says, this is a really bad take, Kef. Just take the L. Worm says, Worm hammer and sickle emoji says, I can always count on you to have the worst take on any situation. Siddharth Krishna says, maybe they shouldn't then. Miles says, nah, this ain't it. 
Sharping King says, Dr. Raleigh, it feels like your response is influenced by the fact that Brianna has supported you in the past as long with you being very legitimately beefed with Benny. But in doing so, you're ignoring all the collateral damage Brianna has done by excusing this perfectly normal as excusing this as perfectly normal cattiness. Max Propane 3 says, I mean, you're a bad person too, so it makes sense you do this. Mari says, L take. It just goes on. I love it. I love it. Eat shit. All of you freaks, eat shit. This is because these people are my age. Like Kathel's Brianna Wu, these are people like in my generation. And now the next generation is even more unhinged, even more politically un in un uh, politically correct, even more willing to eat each other alive to try and promote their preferred creators. And now these people who have tried to make their entire career by murdering my internet are now on the receiving end and I just get to watch it and I get to enjoy it. And it's like, ah, wow, chat, look, look at these bad things happening to bad people. Isn't it great chat? Isn't it wonderful? Doesn't it gratify you chat to see people get their comeuppance? And I'm, if anything, because I don't get to act. I am I am the unmoved mover, right? I simply participate in my forum and I have to I talk out on my streams every so often, but I really don't go out of my way to influence the outcome of things. So for the most because I can't, I really don't have the opportunity to. So for the most part, I sit on my hands and I, I have noticed a trend where I do absolutely nothing. And if I just wait long enough, and it may be a year. It may be three years, maybe five years. In the case of Brianna Wu, it's eight years. Eight years after, uh, no, not even 10 years. It's almost been 10 years since Gamergate started. It's been 10 years since Brianna Wu randomly decided to lie and make himself an internet celebrity by pretending that people were trying to, to kill him for making a tranny video game nobody has ever fucking heard of and has never played to this day, except for Lotax, who killed himself. Lotax is the only person I've ever seen play Brianna Wu's game, and now he's fucking dead. But it's been 10 years since that, and I get to see Brianna thinking, oh boy, I connected with the younger generation. I'm now with Caffles. I'm cool on Twitch. I'm in the Caffles Discord and I have a little tipster wiggler on my profile. I'm really, I'm finally going to make it. I'm finally going to be a respected internet influencer, just like Caffles. And then this shit happens and they just have to eat shit. And it's really fucking funny. It's been really funny, chat. On a long enough timeline, everything goes to zero. <laughs> On a long enough timeline, you can keep rolling 41% 41 per, 41 and winning, but eventually, eventually, the house wins, chat. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.